the information superhighway, an online network called Internet. Say that again? I said, jam it, Dylan. Say that to me one more time. I said, j j j j Okay. I hate you. I hate everything you stand for. Say it again. J- jam it, Dylan. That's stupid. You're probably right. That's dumb. Mm-hmm. I hate everything. Yeah. And we've been over this. Just in general. Just a few seconds ago. You know how in, in the Jonathan Hitman's Avengers, new Avengers run? Sure. The phrase, everything dies, is repeated constantly oh, yes. by yeah, Reed yeah. Richards and yeah. the omniscient narrator. Uh, that's me, that's what I do, except it, I just it's just, I hate everything. You just repeat that over and over, is what you're saying. I remember when it came back around at the end of New Avengers, he said, Dr. Doom said, everything lives. <gasps> Are you gonna say you love everything? No, sorry, Doctor. That's it. It's the on the Secret Wars. Secret Wars uh, yes. Reed Richards says everything lives when they're creating universes. Oh, that's it. That's good. It's a you fun know, concept that they, they haven't revisited it. yet. You know, they say well, a they good kind of have. a good story has a little bit of the beginning at the end, and a little bit of the end at the beginning. That's gay. Okay. I feel like the word gay has done a complete one eighty. Yeah. From what to what? From uh from. From being openly used as an insult to being chastised to people who use it as an insult being chastised to now just being used as kind of whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you I know? hear you. Like, it's just kind of a meaningless... It's just kind of a meaningless word. So, if you're gay... You're meaningless. You're meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Hi everybody, no. welcome to the online podcast, oh, the first ever digital audio cast on the internet. I'm your only host, G- Dylan. Uh, so yeah, so today we're, we're going to talk about uh, Spider-Woman and why she's really cool. No, I don't want, I, ca- I gotta interrupt. Oh. I'm actually a second host that's here. Darn. I'm gay. And uh, well, you heard we're gonna first, folks. talk about. I'm not actually. Okay. That explains a lot. It explains that shirt. Does it? Yeah. The shirt's great. I love it. Yeah. I wasn't. I mean, I was. The shirt's gay is what you're saying? No. Unbelievable. Well, you're gay. You just oh. said that. What does the shirt have to do with anything? It doesn't. I but was just you... saying it explains the shirt. <laughs> so it has to. Okay. I, no, I'm never gonna. It has to do with anything. You said it explains. That's a causation. That's a. I don't know where you're getting that from. All right. From probably the word explains. No. No? I don't see it. You don't think so? It's really bright outside, and I don't, I'm not a fan of that. It's kind of creeping through because the sun's setting, and I'm not like... I dig it, though. It's I such a know, nice day I'm outside. I'm that. Well, well too... F- too f- when I was living too with... Too freaking... Too kick kick bad. When I was living with my college roommate, he never liked sunlight, and he never liked to have, like, the windows open on a nice day. And I love, for, like natural sunlight and having the windows open i i don't i don't like sunlight if i'm in a bad mood i don't like unwanted sunlight most of the time i just blanket statement don't like sunlight yeah but i love it's really hard for me to work if i if it's not like bright if it's at nighttime if yeah if it's at nighttime i'll pretend to work but really i'm just procrastinating when it's daytime i just i'm just kicking into high gear let's go if i'm nocturnal i hate sunlight with a goddamn passion yeah, I hate the, the one of the one of the things that makes me the most sick is staying up all night and then the sun rising, and I'm like, no, stop. Oh, really? I, I love that. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I love it. I like the I love the sun rising, but if yeah. I've been up all night and then the sun rises, no, stop. Why did it have to rise? <laughs> What's the point? Because sunlight's great, man. Yeah. I have I have all my lights in my bedroom trigger uh trigger you know, trigger sunrise. That's dumb. I just well That's stupid light and I hate it. Light is like the only way to wake me up. I wake up uh on when I need to pee mm-hmm. or when I'm done having the nightmare that I'm having. There you go. Or when I'm done being tired. Yeah. Sunlight doesn't wake me. So even when I'm, I'm done immune. even when I'm done being tired, if it's too dark in the room, I will just lay there until 
like for a longer period of time than normal I unless check my i phone. can yeah i'll, I'll check my phone mm-hmm. but i can't get up yeah unless there's like lights going on it's really hard yeah. for me to do that i mosey a lot unless i have something to do then i'll spring out of bed yeah. reluctantly be like Arr. yeah i have to like have a deadline that's actually waiting for me with 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 some sort of consequence that's actually tangible like yeah like i a lot of my flights trap when i travel usually leave at like way early in the morning like 5 a.m just because that's when it's available that's fair and so that's one of those things where i will usually get like maybe an hour of sleep that night Mm -hmm. um just because the anxiety of traveling keeps me up and also i'm really i'm always late packing everything Mm. uh but yeah just having that deadline of needing to rush to the airport helps kick me out of bed even though i hate it i'm gonna be completely honest with you right now yeah this is our most interesting podcast would you say i listened to everything you just said but i've been checked out for the last like two minutes okay it sounds you look like it yeah i don't know what happened (laughs) i'm just kind of done but yeah. it's but it's fine. You you might have to carry this one. We have one more to go. This is yeah. our last podcast recording of, of the of day, the recording of the sesh. year. I feel like you could probably distinctly tell, other like disregarding the Twitter when we put out things, we're like, hey, we're recording. Yeah. Uh, you could probably pretty 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 easily tell when when we start a new recording session. Yeah. Because we're all exuberant. Because we're just like, yeah, happy. woo, and then we get to hear. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, I feel like I'm the exact opposite. By the time. I'm because mentally I'm horribly exhausted right now, mm-hmm. but I feel like because I'm aware of that, I have to make it up by being a little bit more excited and, and whatever. Well, that's good. See, I don't give a shit. I'm just cool to hang out with my buds. Yeah. Well, we, we want to make this be somewhat listenable. I think it's listenable. Fair. I think it's more listenable when I'm chill. You think so? Yeah. I think people like... As long as you're engaged in some capacity. Oh, I'm engaged. I was just checked out for a little bit there. Yeah. Her name is Amanda. Okay. And is she moving in or... No, we're just engaged. Right, but that eventually will lead to a... No? Okay. What, are you old-fashioned? You're gonna... So... Am I to imagine that this is a permanent engagement that will never no, go? No, we're gonna get married. We're gonna get. You're gonna get married. Yeah, but not move in. Why would we? Great question. She likes her apartment. I like my apartment. Hey, Eventually you know what? We'll both get individual homes. Hey, man, if it works I'll for you, I'll get a bedroom for her and mine, though. That's, hey, man. I'll get. I'll make sure I got an extra she one. She can have a drawer. She can have a drawer. No. No drawers. She doesn't get a drawer. Well, all right. I use boxes. She can have a box. That'll work. To put her shit in when I kick her out. Oh, We're no. broken up, Amanda. Bitch, get the hell out of my style. Her name was Amanda. That's all I knew about her. Yeah. I was going to make some sort of comment about her personality, but like I didn't know it. She was a cool dude. Well, there you go. You want to yeah, get into Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Sure. You can. You we'll, we'll, let's rapid. We'll we'll rapid fire through a couple rapid of these. Rapid fire. Some of these are really short. Ugh. This comes from um, um, a user named. This comes from Luke Joshua Sai. Hello. Uh, at the Kid Arachnid. Have okay. we taken questions from him before? Potentially. I think so. Uh, this says Scott. Do you still eat pizza after every video you upload? The answer to that is no. Um, what? I never. I only did that for a very short amount of time. I didn't think you were one to break a tradition. It wasn't a tradition. I did it for a very short amount of time. I'm really upset as with I just you said. right now, as you can clearly see. Well, I face. I usually order a pizza a month. Beep, beep. At the beginning of the month, when I get paid, that's kind of like my hell yeah for last month sort of a thing. Like all the work I did last month, let's celebrate with a hell pizza. Yeah. Um, but then it got to a point where all the videos we were producing was uh, they were taking a toll on me, and every every single time I hit upload, I just wanted to lose myself in a cheese and bread coma. Lose yourself to pizza. Um, lose yourself to pizza. See, if this is what you think is like you lose at your most pizza. engaged in, in <laughs> I was fun making a funny to. parody of Daft Punk's great song, Lose Yourself to Dance, oh. featuring Pharrell. I've never heard of that. What? Yeah. Do you not listen to Daft Punk? I do not. What? Have you seen Tron Legacy? No. 
What? That movie's bad, but they did the score and it's really I know good. they did. How do you not like Daft Punk? I never said I didn't like them. I said I don't listen to them. Have you heard anything by Daft Punk? I've heard the the one that everyone knows, I feel. Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger? Oh, they did that one too? What the hell are you talking about then? The Didn't they Get do lucky? the... Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. That's like that's for fucking idiots. Yeah. That's, not, that's, for, that's, that's for fake fans. Okay, I don't listen to these songs. I just know of them. Oh. Well, it's definitely really good. You should check them out. Okay. Oh, give me a genuine <laughs> recommendation. Okay. Right no, I just like, you're gonna back me up. Everybody likes Daft Punk. Fuck you. Sure. <laughs> no, I, 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 well, I have never hey. once in this conversation Scott said something Daft bad Punk. about Scott Daft hates Punk. Daft Punk. You are Scott projecting hates so Punk. hard. Scott hates Daft Punk. <laughs> I never said anything negative about <laughs> Daft Punk. Scott hates Daft Punk. If you don't show immediate interest in the thing I'm suggesting to you with wholeheartedness, uh-huh. I uh-huh. assume you hate it already. Okay. That's the logical human response. Fantastic. What was the question? It was about pizza. I've actually oh, been trying right. to eat better. I've been trying to eat better and try to take better care of myself. Uh, we all are always. Recently. Uh, well, I mean, <coughs> so like I... Nice. Yeah, I, I could cough directly into the microphone if you want me to do that. Hold on, I'm making the decision in my head. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <coughs> Hot. Thank you. <laughs> um, I actually felt horrible doing that, like coughing without covering up my mouth. I hate that. You like barely covered your mouth though with the other one. Yeah, it's it was just bit. like a, it was like a pussy it's cover. Like a, <laughs> one of those things. Now you do your hand. When it's a cough, yeah. When it's a sneeze, no. No, you don't do your hand bacteria I, i'm not sick it was just like a clearing my throat sort of a thing dracula okay there's still s- s- n- uh what the hell is it saliva spit till is there a difference between spit and spittle or is spittle just short or, i mean spit just short for spittle spittle sounds more like spit that's dripping out of your or mouth or is spittle just an alternate universe skittle yeah that's probably it or a dog named spittle why was the dog i'm gonna sneeze okay <laughs> oh, you didn't even cover it up in your el- elbow or anything. No, it all landed on my arm. No, I did that. Now I wipe it on my jean. No, oh, that's better. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I feel like I'm. I go through occasional health, you know, as we all do. Yeah, sure. Trying to take care of ourselves. Or I feel whatever. like the best diet is just like. Maybe don't get fries this time. Right, exactly. That's the, I don't. I'm not a really big fan diet. of. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not a really big fan of diets. I hate diets because um, most people like there are people who go on diets and then that's just their diet and that's mm-hmm. good. That's how you should use them. But mm-hmm. then there are people who are like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like vegetarian for two weeks just to lose some weight. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's not how you diet. You're just gonna Why? gain that back immediately. Yeah, but if that if if the, if the, all they wanted was a short term goal for like a, a thing, then like that's fine. I guess, but like most people, I've seen so many people who are like, I'm gonna try this diet for a bit to lose some weight, mm-hmm. and then I'll just have lost that weight and I'll be good. But then they revert back to their original stuff and they just gain the weight back immediately. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? What was the point of the diet then? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it's for like an a event, if it's solution. for like an event, like if you're getting married and you want to lose a little bit of weight before then, but you don't care afterwards just because don't get hey, pregnant, you because idiot. then you're married, you, you don't have to try to impress anyone. Or how about you get a dress that you feel comfortable in instead of having to slip into a small boy, Dylan? Why don't you just let people do what they want to do instead of trying to judge them to do what you think they should I'm do? Not, I'm trying to strengthen their self confidence. What if what if they just want to lose weight for themselves and for their for then their? Don't gain it back, because then you're just gonna be like, oh, why'd I gain it back? Maybe, or you could be like, ha, I did it. Now I don't have to worry about you it anymore. Donut? I forgot to offer you a donut. No, that's f- fine. I. I just talked about how I was trying to eat better. Yeah, I know, but like they're here. I'm not gonna have a donut. You but don't thank like glazed you. anyway. I don't. I don't have a big sweet tooth. That's fair. Period. I don't either. But like, I was getting kolaches the other day, mm-hmm. and I I didn't want to just get kolaches, so I sure. got some donuts too. Yeah, I haven't eaten them all. I've eaten all the kolaches. I love kolaches. I've I I recently my diet has been almost unintentionally like, uh. It's not really a diet, I guess. I don't know. I've I've been like cutting. Well, okay. Yeah. So diet is just the stuff that you eat. It doesn't have to be healthy. Sh- sure. Your diet is whatever you eat. Okay. But so, like, obviously, 
for just clarity's sake, when I'm talking about a diet, I'm talking about a change in what I'm eating. And yeah, you got a new diet. Sure. Use the correct. Every you're the one making it more complicated. No, I not. feel by being I'm like making everything's it, a diet. I'm being more correct. Right, but if you under, if everyone understood what Just I meant, say my this is diet. But this is the point. This or is my this is diet. this is the point of language. If you understand what I mean, then it doesn't matter if if it's like I the did most not correct. understand what you meant. I had to clarify. You understood. And what now I meant. we just wasted a whole. You understood what I meant. W- go on with your chicken. Also, hold up. Why would? Why did you feel the need to clarify? Because I just said my diet currently is. I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What's your? What's your diet? I don't know. I just been. I, I've been. It's kind of been a mixture of of you know things like um, not eating that m- uh, many like yeah. uh, carbs or whatever, mm-hmm. um, simply because I feel like I don't need to. Uh, carbs are bad. Yeah. To uh, quote the great man himself, mm. what do you think I'm gonna say? I don't know, but I already don't like it. Oh, but you will like it. Okay. Bread makes you fat. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I when I was at. Uh, previously style con mm-hmm. um with with <laughs> Thank you with my friend thomas frank he and i have the same favorite movie which is scott pilgrim versus the world nice. and so he would indulge me in all of the references we wanted to make nice. and that was that was one of my favorite ones as we were just at an italian restaurant and we got like bread on the table and i was like man i could eat garlic bread for every meal and he was like you know we did the whole bit back and forth and it ended Ooh, with me just yeah. It ended with me just shouting, "Bread makes you fat!" And then like, the but you could tell. Went silent. Well, you could tell everyone else at the table had no idea what the exchange <laughs> me and Thomas had until I said that last line, and they're just like, "Haha, I guess that's a punchline." Um, <laughs> but I yeah, you could tell that nobody understood any of the bits that we were doing. We did a lot of them. My and favorite, it was great. my favorite people are people who just laugh at punchlines without context. Yeah, my favorite <laughs> like, people. You're just having a good time. I like you. <laughs> My favorite people, and I mean this completely ironically, oh, um, is, are the people, and I do this a lot too, are the people who laugh before the punchline because they <laughs> think that's what the punchline is. You know what I mean? No, they're like, great. Like you're telling, don't know. you're telling a long form joke and it's just like you get to a detail and they're like, <laughs> and then, like then you continue with the joke. Like <laughs> that wasn't the funny part. That's like, I, I was watching an episode of comedians and cars getting coffee. And I forget who was on it, but Jerry, my boy, Jerry was talking mm. about how that that's, that's how he knows if a joke is really good. If people start to laugh at the setup, because if they laugh at the setup, then you're like, oh, then the oh, punchline's going to That's not what kill I'm them. talking about. I'm talking about the people who are not paying attention enough that they will just laugh when they think it's gotten to the punchline. Oh. <laughs> well, I think that was kind of the point of what he was saying. Yeah. But, like, he, he's just saying, like, if he says, like, a silly thing, like, uh, so, uh, so, so, so I had a maid come by the other day, and because he's a comedian, they're like, <laughs> yeah. But he's just like, oh, no, that's the setup. Yeah. But they're already laughing, so I'm good. I got them. This is yeah. going to be quality. Punchline's going to literally murder them. Yeah. They're going to be dead in their seats. No, I just see that as more as they're not paying attention. Because I'm not talking about the people who are la- who are doing a genuine laugh, but who, yeah. who are laughing because they think that's where they're supposed oh, to they, laugh. Oh, they like checked out and yes. they just like insert laugh here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that's that's what I'm talking about. I see. And that, that's I don't think like, I've experienced I that. It because what it does is it makes the punchline infinitely worse because when you get there and then they don't laugh then you got to kind of riff off of anything else and try to make them try to make it up that's like showing a friend a a youtube video that you think is funny and then Mm. they don't laugh and you're like oh (laughs) i i've done these i'm everybody has but like when there's a bit in your head that's funnier to you than anyone else Mm -hmm. uh I was with at that same event. Um, sorry, I keep talking about it on these, but it's still fresh in my That's mind. Okay. Um, at the same event, talking with my boy Thomas Frank, he he just asks like Tommy a question. Boy? He just asked a question. Yes, call him Tommy Boy. I do call him Tommy Boy, not to Good. his face. Oh, um, sorry, Tommy Boy, th- Thomas Frank. Anyway, he uh, he just asked me a very he simple has two question. First names. That's, I, we've discussed this many times. Uh, have we? <laughs> Not you and I, but him and I. Oh, okay. <laughs> and him with presumably everybody else on the planet that I he's met. I just realized that. Um, 
but yeah, I, he just asked me a very simple question of like, where do you live? Um, you know, and, and like in my head, I cycled through a thousand <laughs> different points to that. The thing that I said, mm-hmm. um, came out as like disjointed from yes. from his thing but like i had already made several leaps oh, yeah. that i thought were funny to get time. to there so it came out as really awkward and aggressive oh no because i so he said where do you live and that got me to think about what's a funny response <laughs> oh what if i he's obviously asking for like city what if i imply that he wants my full address which is creepy but also i gave him my entire contact info earlier that day oh no so what if i come and respond it with just like a very aggressive like you know you already have my my contact info sort of a thing and like to me with all of those different leaps in logic that would have been funny if he had remembered it and been like oh yeah yeah, i do have your like actual address (laughs) um and but it just didn't land and i was just like "Eh, dallas (laughs) Dallas." (laughs) that's like there's a a a funny reddit local meme where um i forget like the context of the story but basically this one person accidentally hurt this other person and she was trying to formulate what she was going to say to the person to to apologize and ask if they're okay Mm -hmm. so she wanted to say i'm really sorry are you okay Mm. or or um no it was uh i'm really fucking sorry are you okay but mm-hmm. she was so frazzled and so anxious that it came out as are you fucking sorry <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no it's the worst it's so good and i think she just like ran away at that point she was like oh no i'm done goodbye <laughs> well this is dumb <laughs> yeah, that's when you just like when your wires get crossed and two things come out as one yeah Oh, that's, that's the worst. Simultaneously the worst and the best. Yeah. I hate like, yeah, when, when stuff doesn't land either. I was in my meeting earlier. Um, I tried to make a pun on Iron Man as yeah. Iron Man, but I think a combination of Skype not delivering my, uh, my sound very well and just it being too close and not making much sense, it mm-hmm. just didn't land at all. Yeah. <laughs> and they just went back to their own thing. And it's the worst because I had setup time mm-hmm. and they're all like it was they were all in the, in one room and we mm-hmm. had the webcams on. And I started making a thing and they let me talk and they were all just staring at me. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no, if this doesn't land, I'm gonna feel so bad. And I did. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Well, so what I've noticed and uh and I maybe I just observe this so I can try to make myself feel better. Mm-hmm. But like, um, I'm in a D and D group right now that yeah. from people that I'm still not super comfortable with, like sure. just being very vocal um, with. So and they're very funny people. Um, so when they they'll often make jokes, but for some reason. N- nobody laughs or doesn't you know just responds to a oh, joke no. sometimes they do but like and i think it's funny but i don't want to be like the only one laughing or whatever <laughs> so like there are there are what many there are plenty of times when like really funny stuff is said and it's just silence and i always think to myself like what if that's just kind of how it is where people are more so like internalizing a lot of the, like not outwardly laughing, not because it's not funny or entertaining. And I think about that a lot with like just hanging out with friends where I'll observe somebody says something funny, but I might not respond. Not because I don't, not because I feel forced to not respond, but just because like, you know, I just don't feel like, belly laughing at it but like yeah that was really funny that was really inter- you know i appreciate that input that you gave there it wasn't but like i don't nothing nothing said nothing is so like i don't know so when he tells a joke and your response is yes i appreciate the input that you just gave well no Thank yeah you. it's all it's all internal you know what i mean like yeah, I like just people it's joking like around yeah somebody says a thing and it's like i'm glad they said that thing but no, there's no response. It's not that I didn't think it was funny. I just, there was no response. Are to you it. ever, when, when, when you talk about like the, the meta-ness of conversation or mm-hmm. mostly that, like the, the, some, when you, when you get into meta conversation, basically where you're talking about where you're having a conversation about how conversation works, specifically yes. 
discussing a negative aspect of it. Are you ever incredibly anxious that that exact thing is going to happen in the conversation? Because I am all the time, always. I'm going to need an example. So, okay. For for example, um, say you were talking about how awkward silences are terrible. Yeah. And you don't like awkward silences and you try mm-hmm. and fill them because it just makes me feel uncomfortable or whatever. Sure. Um. And and then throughout that conversation, there's a point where like, yeah, yeah, I really don't like awkward silences. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like what happens while you're discussing how bad awkward silences are? Uh, I, I would imagine a, a laugh and like, that's just... See, that's probably the thing that would actually happen. Yeah. But most of the time, I'm like, oh, God, what if it happens right now? Oh, no. Please, God, why? Yeah. I mean, we've talked about before just how to always have something in your back pocket to yeah. talk about. Well, that's awkward silence is I'm fine with because I don't care about silence. I can yeah. I can chill with silence. If, yeah. I, if I know the person well enough. Well, that's I'm the whatever. thing. It's only if I know them well enough. If yeah. they're like a person that I'm mingling with for the first time, then I feel like there's always got to be stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Being said. But. I can go a more specific example is um, I was talking to a friend the other day about uh, someone like doing the thing where, uh, you know, if you give if if you're if you're venting to someone, most of the time you don't want a solution to your problem. You just want to vent and like get it out there and be like, "Uh, I had a shitty day and you just want the person to be like, yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. Um, I guess I know you I, probably don't because you're very strange. I know that I I know that people feel that way. Yeah. Okay. We'll just go with that feeling. Okay. For all, a right, second. all right. All right. Ninety-nine percent of the population feels that. I way. I don't think it's ninety-nine percent. Ninety percent of the population. Feels I don't. That I way. think it's probably closer to seventy. The very large majority of the population feels that way. <laughs> sure. Um. But anyway. Uh. So so someone would be like, "Hey, I had a really shitty day at work." Blah blah blah. And then maybe your SO or your best friend or whatever is like, yeah, that sucks, blah, blah, blah. That's all you want to hear because you don't really, you're not coming t- for a solution. You just, you just want to vent. And that's totally understandable. But then the person does fire back and be like, oh, well, well you, you should have done this or you could mm-hmm. do this. And you're like, that's just, I don't want that right now. So anyway, I, this happened to a friend of mine yeah. and their SO. And um, we were all having a conversation. We're like, yeah, that's really shitty. He shouldn't be doing that. Well, so blah, do blah, you, blah. sorry. Just to get on this, I feel like that's just, I, I feel like that's so common that it can't possibly be that only that 90% of the population doesn't want a solution. That the fact that that whole thing where what people are offering solutions would imply that they themselves would like solutions if they were in the same boat. I don't think that's true. You don't think so? I think most, I think 90% of, of 90% of the people who, who who offer solutions to people who are clearly venting mm-hmm. don't realize that they're venting. They haven't figured out how to make the distinction between venting and 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 discussing a problem. I don't know. I feel like I I I don't feel like it's ninety percent. I feel like it's closer. Yeah, I feel like it's closer. I'm not giving an actual. I know, but I here. I do feel like it's it's closer to that. Just seems like two different personalities, and I feel like it's closer to the middle than that's ninety. That's fine, but s- s- my legion of people i haven't experienced many people who yeah because like i do that i do the same thing where people i will understand that they're venting Mm -hmm. but i still want to help in some capacity that's the problem most people and i will say strictly most people do not want help i understand that that's what i'm saying and is and, i understand that right. but it's like i can't not i can't not be like well, what do the, you need that's exactly the thing that happened in this in this scenario mm-hmm. of of my friend who was dealing with their so yeah of they they were saying like because because my friend i'm trying to not use names my friend was like hey you're being kind of disrespectful right now because I was just venting and didn't really want a solution. And, and you just kept giving me solutions and didn't even like offer me any support or any, in any way. And the SO was like, well, I'm, I'm not just going to sit by and watch you hurt. I need to help you. But my friend has already said like multiple times, like, Hey, I don't want a solution in this scenario. I'm just venting. I just want you to be like, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. But they were being very pig-headed and were like, no. 
Well, yeah, I mean, that's just obnoxious. But like, right. but like, I that's don't know, the I'm the kind of person where like, I, I will, I will recognize when someone's just venting or whatever. Cause like, mm-hmm. I would want solutions if I was in that scenario. Yeah. I would, if, you, if I've, I, I've read that about you a lot is that you're very, for some reason for on specific things with like, like you said a lot, like the, you don't like the golden rule of treat others how you want to be treated. Yeah. Cause, cause you're, you're cause, kind of the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah treat other, it's Which more I find strange but i don't think that it's, i don't think that i'm an anomaly there i think it's i've never met anyone like you right but i but i i've definitely witnessed it a lot i i feel like mm-hmm. the fact that it is a common problem that that happens a lot means that but i don't i think i don't think it's a one-way thing i don't think those because I, I what i was trying to say is if the the people who offer solutions when other people are venting I think they are the same people who vent and don't want solutions. They just don't realize what's happening in that exact situation where they, their immediate like primal response is, okay, how can I help? Cause they love that person. They just want to help. Yes. But, but they don't, it, cause they, like they if, just, their wires don't. Because like if way. somebody was, was venting and I said, what can I do to help? And they said nothing. I just want to vent. Then I would, be like okay yeah that's the logical human progression to do but like <laughs> uh, you can't stop me from being like what can i do to help you right now mm-hmm. because i want to help that's you good right say now. yeah saying what can i do to help or do you what even better i would say is do you want some help with this or you just want to talk yeah yeah or, yeah um but but a lot of people will jump immediately in and say like say you don't want you don't like mayonnaise on your sandwich and the guy mm-hmm. at the sandwich shop always always gives you mayonnaise on it mm-hmm. and you come home to me and you're like man fucking jim at at his john shop he's always giving me mayonnaise on my sandwich and i'm like oh well you should tell him not to mm-hmm. you might be like what the f- what do you think i've been doing this all time <laughs> yeah and that would just set you off but if i said like well you want some help or yeah what's up you said that very sexual you want some help with that i can give you some mayonnaise yikes <laughs> <laughs> but yeah anyway my whole point of this yeah uh is i forgot how did we start this it was it was about meta conversations or something. right okay so in that conversation we were having i was helping my we were all saying like yeah this, your so is being really annoying and dumb um the whole time my my like whole body was clenched trying to not offer a solution or help in any way because then i would be doing what my friend's so was doing you know what oh, i mean yeah. so we were talking about the logistics of you shouldn't do this blah 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 and then you wanted to and then like, if can I if do well no i didn't there was no point where i where i i was just i never wanted to do that because i've gotten pretty good about reading that specific type of situation sure um but there was there was just a part of me that's always there that's like what if i do though or what if someone does and then yeah. it's gonna be weird yeah <laughs> i don't like that I the, the best way to the best way i feel like to offer to to satisfy your wanting to help thing without actually offering a solution is just make a joke about it like if someone if someone if, if, if you come to me and you're like hey john put mayonnaise on my sandwich I just feel Wait, like I thought it was Jim from the John shop. You're right. Sorry. Jim from the John shop put mayonnaise on my sandwich. I'd be like, Oh, you should, you should poison his sandwich. It's not an actual solution. That would not satisfy my inner desire to want to That's help. That's fine. It would for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, ha, huh, we made funny joke. But then also for the people who are venting, if you have problems with people who don't, who don't ever give you solutions when you want them, just communicate that. And if they if they're like, man, that sucks. I'm sorry. Maybe be like, well, what can I do? What do you think I should do? Two way street conversations are and relationships, mm-hmm. and universities. What? They normally have two streets. I don't know. What are you on your phone for? I was gonna look up another question. What the hell are you doing on your phone? I was gonna it's look really up another disrespectful. One. This is literally what this podcast on is your about. phone during the podcast recording, <laughs> looking up things for us to talk about. Just doing his own thing. Scott's a man going his own way. He don't need no woman. Believable. Do you want to do the que- the Hitler question? Are you an alpha or a beta? Um, are you a dom or a sub? I, don't, I have no idea what that terminology the is. The sex dominant or submissive uh, answer right now. Yes. Both? At the same time. How the hell is... Oh. 
It's just very middle Masturbation. Of, oh, okay, see. sure. <laughs> I was just going to say it's very middling sex. Mid- what? <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> it's just fine. It's just all right. It's lukewarm. Um, Milk toast. What's it? Who asked it? Owen it's asked a question? Toast. I don't know. Yes. You're looking at him. Owen says, this comes from Owen Likes Comics. Owen he sure does. Owen's Comics. Owen's Comics. And he says... <laughs> Go check him out. Uh, if you accidentally stumbled upon a time machine, where would be the first place you'd go? Bonus question. Oh. Bonus round. Bonus deal. That's another Game Grumps reference for you. There you go. <laughs> would you also kill baby Hitler? So which part of that do you want to answer well, first? Well, let's take them linear. Linearly. Linearly. I hate that word so much. Uh, chronologically, if you were to you. accidentally... Well, we are talking about a time <laughs> machine. Uh, if you accidentally stumbled upon a time machine, where would be the first place you'd go? Do you have an answer for that one? All right. Well, let's set some ground rules. Yes. Ground rule ro- number one. Uh-huh. Can we go past and future? Yes. Ground rule number two. If we go into the past, can we change the future? And if so, I would, is any minute thing I would, change things? I would say, according to this question, yes, because he's also asking about killing baby Hitler. Okay. Uh, so I guess that would, that, would, that would rule out ground rule number three, which would be, do we have any effect at all? Can people see us, or are we just ghosts there? Yeah, I would say, so bonus question So we physically go means... there, and butterfly effect is in full effect. Yes. Okay. Fuck. I will say <laughs> I will I, not go to the past but <laughs> I will say this I won't say every little tiny thing I will say um bigger interactions will change okay. things so so okay yeah like if you're just walking along the street not just doing anything out. not hanging out, that's not gonna change anything yeah but like if you talk to somebody and you'd like tell them about the future and what then like yeah that might change a thing uh I would do the Marty McFly thing to do and just mm. go to the future and find a thing to make me rich. Hey, yeah, find the almanac. But not like super rich where it gets noticed and everyone's like That's weird that you're just like rich betting. enough to where yeah. I don't have to worry about money anymore. Yeah. But enough. not like not like I can spend it I can spend millions every day and I won't run out. Not mm-hmm. Not like who's really rich? Who's just anyone who's really not rich? like Robert Downey Jr. rich? Yeah, but like my boss rich? Yeah, then he's not rich, but like he's set because of VA. So sure, <laughs> he's good. <laughs> just like m- money's not an issue if I yeah. if I'm smart about it. Like right now, I I can still be smart about money, but also I'm living month to month. So you just so you just want to. I just want go to, to the future. I want to fly under the radar. So it has nothing to do with like the experience of time travel. Oh no, I'd do that as well. I would okay. go grab some shit. I'd grab like the PS6 or something. Right. And take it back with this me. Is, this is still very material, not the experience of time travel. What the hell would I do? The future's not going to be that different. Right, but you could go literally any point in the future. You could see so? you could see what happens. You know, if I go to like three thousand, then the Jonas Brothers are just gonna be there. And yeah, well, not much that. has changed, but we live underwater. Right, and I'm just gonna drown immediately. Mm-hmm. That's no fun. Also, alternate ground rule. Yes. Uh, space time machine or just time machine? Just time machine, based off of this. No, but I'm but, saying, I'm saying, so like be, travel anywhere on Earth. Right, because okay. if I ta- if if I time machined. If I went back in time in this exact moment, I would probably end up somewhere else. I will limit it to Earth, but like you can't travel through the galaxy. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, does the the does the rotation of Earth and it orbiting does that matter at all? Uh, I will say you're always stuck on Earth. Okay, so in a fixed point, so we end up in it the same place. The time no, 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 is. no. Like you can travel anywhere on Earth, but like you're you can't leave Earth. Is what I'm trying to say. You can't. So like, it is travel. a space time machine. Yes, but you can't. Okay. But, I, but I'm saying you can't leave Earth. Right. Like, I don't care about that. Okay. I'm just I'm just worried that if I time travel too far back or too far into the future, I'm just gonna pop out in space and die. No, because the Earth is on the other side. No, I'll say that you're. Okay, you can cool. travel. That's all you I can travel worried. Earth, but not distant galaxies or anything like that. Cool. I'm down for that business. So you're you literally just want things. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, because like I don't want to experience too much of the future. 
Because if I experience too much, you could I'm also go to the past and just see things. Fuck the past. Okay. I don't give a shit about the past. That's in the past. Answer. I wouldn't kill baby Hitler. We've come so far. He's a little shit dick. Anyway, no. Why would I don't? Okay, I don't want to go to the past because I don't care. There's nothing there. Everything's everyone's racist and boring. I don't. Well, that that's the thing about time travel, right? Is like the, the like the joke is that um, time travel really only works if you're a white guy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's nothing there for anyone else, <laughs> unless you go to like I don't know Africa. Yeah, that hey, the, you could. Uh, anyway, I and the, for the future thing, I wouldn't stay in the future too long because I'd get too used to like the amenities in the future and stuff. Yeah. And I don't want to see too much because then I would see too much and and I would just you could always want just the future to come. You could always just live in the future. I don't know, my friend. No, my friend, you said one, one part. I did not say one. Well, I'm kind of assuming that. Okay. I don't want to do that. I got no problem. I wouldn't fit you in. You could always bounce back and forth constantly if you wanted to. I just go to like, oh, well, I didn't know that was a thing. This is just where it's the first place you would go. Oh, okay. Not where's the only place you would go. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd go to the future and like buy an apartment. Yeah. And just like chill out in the future on weekends. Yeah. Bring my bros up well, to the future. You'd have to get more money because I would imagine inflation in the future would make apartments cost way more. Well, no, I, for the I, same would just, price. I would just be like, hey, I'm from the past. Oh, yeah. Bitch. Remember me? And they'll, 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 they'll know me because I'm like a legend in their time. Of course. I'm like some god who killed many men and women. Yikes. And murdered them all. Oh, boy. And triumphed. This doesn't have sound a great. statue of me in their courtyard. Is it good or bad statue? And guess who's their ruler? Oh. Cyber Hitler. Whoa. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> but he's chill now. Oh, okay. Ever since he killed all. He, killed he got all, a firmware update. You know what? And he's, yeah. To everyone's surprise, Uh after he euthanized all the Jews, he was cool. He was solid. He was just a chill dude. He went back to painting, and that's all he wanted. He just wanted to live Uh. as a robot Hitler (laughs) the rest of his life. He was just like, you know what? I've done my work. (laughs) I'm good. (laughs) This is bad. I hate that so much. This is bad. (laughs) Okay, you can tell how uncomfortable I'm getting. (laughs) Uh... First place I'd go. Oh yeah. Um, the so the question is, if you accidentally stumbled upon a time machine, where would be the first place you'd go? And the question, and the answer for me would be the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, so that I can patent the tech, tra- the time travel technology, and make a killing. What a boring answer. Because the idea <laughs> is that I've accidentally stumbled upon it, not that time travel was perfected and marketed. I've just accidentally come across right. one. You so I'm going to take it. There. I'm going to take it, Wait. patent it, and then sell it, and then make But then everyone fortune. would have time travel. Cool. What the hell is that about? You're going to give time travel to villain? Were you not just talking about Cyborg Hitler? He was cool. Did you not miss? <laughs> did you miss all of that? He killed all the Jews, yeah, but then he was them. like They're totally done. chill. Look, the, after that, the Jews came back and he was like, ah, whatever. He focused on his painting and he got thing. real good. Yes. He was totally fine. In fact, the land that he rules, full of Jews. Yeah, he didn't give a sh- he's the king of the Jews now. They call him Jesus. Like he killed all the Jews. He did, but they came back, and he was like, oh, "As also cyborgs." No. Okay. They were reborn. Okay. They found. They found. What is the Quran? Is that Je- the Quran? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. The, the Quran. Uh, they found it. People found it, and they were like, no, wait, oh, not the Quran. Is, the to- is it the Torah? The Torah? I don't know. Ah, uh, Torah is like the five. Books. Hey Siri. You know what? We'll never know. What do the Jews read? What did she say? My web search turns something up for now. What is the juicy re? <laughs> <laughs> now, what is the juicy re? Oh, uh, you can tell how worldly and cultured we are. Bitches. I think it's the Quran. No, it might be the Torah. I think it's the Torah. I think the Quran is Muslim. Yeah. That's I'm right. I'm sorry. I'm a racist. Yeah, Wait, no, we're all... not. That's religion. That's not race. Mm hmm. Anyway. Uh, so okay. you'd patent time travel and let everyone have time travel? Uh, sure. What if Donald Trump got a hold of a time machine? Mm. You know what? He probably already has one. It's probably, probably always present. Yeah, it's a good call. Damn. Mm. What if... Okay, here's the real question. Oh. This time machine, has yes. it always existed? Or just once we time travel from that point, time travel will just like... 
exists throughout all the time and time will fold into itself and bl- it will blink out of existence immediately because that's like the logical progression of time travel right right it's like as soon as time like the moment time travel is invented is like everything just goes everything th- like just the world just fucking dies yeah <laughs> this is why i hate time travel there's too many rules there's too many defines rules the only thing that does time travel good is fill Her- the future oh sorry re potter and the prisoner of azkaban <laughs> sorry that is the only time travel that's good and well done and fill the future. Everything else is shit. Okay. What are they? What's their time travel? I haven't seen that show in centuries. Oh, the, it, it's 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 literally just they go back in time, and who knows how it affects the future. <laughs> <laughs> so time travel is more of just a kickstart for the, well, the well, premise. Well, for them, well, th- they go so, back, don't they? A couple times. I can't remember. It's, it's like, like but every I, season ends with them trying to go back. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the whole goal. But like, I, I do think. Th- in their universe, time travel is just a thing you do on a vacation, so it can't affect the past that much. Oh, okay. Is there time travel in Xenon? No, it's just a future thing. I feel like there was time travel in one of them. Yeah, I haven't seen all of them, I don't think, but no, I, at least the first three, there was no time travel. I think there's time travel in Hannah Montana. What is the lore of Hannah Montana? Can we break that down for a second? So there's this country girl... No, I understand the premise. By Billy Ray Cyrus. I understand the premise. And she has a 30-year-old brother masquerading as a 13-year-old. <laughs> That's correct. Um, who also likes little diddle kids. Is that true? I think so. Oh, no. <laughs> I think Sweet I read that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, but she has brown hair. <laughs> yeah okay but she likes to sing country music oh no but she's too nervous to do it by her lonesome is it the nervousness that does it i don't remember it's not so she adopts the persona of hannah montana no it wasn't the nervousness and puts on a blonde wig it was so she could live a normal life what is she a fucking superhero yes how does that stay? But remember, she had that song. Who said? Who said? You can't be Superman. I said. Oh, yeah. I said that I know I can. She's super. She's literally Superman. Did you see the Hannah Montana movie where she rips off her wig and then no. it's like a Miley Cyrus concert and everyone's like, "What? Hannah Montana was Miley Cyrus the whole time?" And they're all like blown away, even though nobody who knows who the fuck Miley Cyrus is. Yeah, they're just like, "Whoa, Hannah Montana's a <laughs> brunette now." Because they, they filmed it at a real concert, the, oh, like really? the penultimate scene of the movie. That's fantastic. Of her ripping the wig off. I think it's like circumstantial too. She's like trying to get, but she can't find her wig. So yeah. she just has to go on stage as Miley Cyrus, but she like realizes that this is all good and cool. Yeah. I'm Miley Cyrus. I was as soon as that show aired, I was like genuinely curious about how the real world transition would go. Oh yeah. And as we all know, just drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like almost every Disney star. That's right. I was very fascinated by by the Hannah Montana Miley Cyrus uh relationship because it was it was reality, but also not. Mm-hmm. Like there was a show about it, but also it happened here. Yeah, because she would actually do concerts as Hannah Montana yeah. and Miley Cyrus, which is wild. Yeah, it was so weird. It's like history repeats itself. Because mm. back in the olden days, Cleopatra would dress up nope. as Hannah. Nope. Egyptian. Nope. Uh, Hannah Cairo <laughs> okay. and and would sing to all of her suitors. Wouldn't it have to rhyme? Wouldn't it have to be like... No. Like it's just a coincidence. Milo Cairo. Monta- <laughs> Miley Cyrus doesn't rhyme. Well, no, but Hannah Montana does. So that's okay. just a coincidence. All right. Uh, do you think Lord rhymes? No. <laughs> that's one syllable. <laughs> it is impossible for a one syllable no, thing to No, it's two. Lord, duh. Okay. Idiot. All right. That is, I did, I was curious, because, like, are there any other, like, um, singers that, because I was wondering how long in the real world, if we didn't know that Miley Cyrus was Hannah Montana, yeah. how long would it take for us to figure that out? Because mm. the only one that comes to mind is Poppy, and we know who she is now. She hasn't said it, but we figured it out. Okay. <laughs> so probably that long. I guess. Like a day. <laughs> Because people, well, the problem with specific, I guess they would have to be a nobody, and then they're turned into a yeah pop singer. You could, I mean, there could always just be some yeah. Like I feel like the way to do it would probably be to hide your identity yeah. behind something, not like more than a wig, you know? Right. Um, well, because the problem, the, the specifically, people found out who Poppy was so fast because, uh. Well, first she wasn't as she wasn't popular enough to get like the 4chan people on it to yeah find shit. But she was 
before she was Poppy, she was posting stuff as her own self on like Facebook and and but when uh. she beca- when she adopted the Poppy personality, they or persona, they tore all that down. They tried to erase every existence of her on the internet. There's a right. really good article on somewhere uh <laughs> the internet um ab- about uh who poppy is and yeah. it doesn't go into like the specifics but it's just it's really good and nice if you like poppy you should check it out i really okay. like poppy it's a fun time I don't, I don't care for poppy hey fuck you you haven't even heard most of her music and daft punk's terrible so uh no what so Han- hannah 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 Montana. hannah hannah Mon- banana tana will rule the world is that what, Do you yeah. think Miley Cyrus is gonna make like a comeback? Is she not back? No, I mean like, like she has a sh- like like she does something outside of music, where she like she's Hannah Montana again. Do you think Hannah Montana will ever make oh, a comeback? Okay, specifically Hannah Montana. <laughs> yeah, um, she's gonna put on don the wig one more time. One last ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the name of the movie. Hannah Montana. I would, one last ride. I would actually genuinely love that. Yeah, just because. I know it would be a grab for money and, I, it, would and it would be, be awful. lovely. Yes. <laughs> I would love every minute. Of uh-huh. It. I want that now. Somebody green light. Do Hannah you think, Montana but movie. because Miley Cyrus is blonde currently, do you think that, is Hannah, she? Han- yeah. Do you think that what? Hannah Montana or I don't know. Last I checked, do you think that Hannah Montana would be a brunette? <laughs> <laughs> Just swaps. What if Miley Cyrus is trying to actually become, become Hannah, Montana, Hannah Montana and then she dons the Miley Cyrus persona? Oh no. What if like Bruce Wayne is uh, just Batman and he's not Bruce Wayne? Yeah. Bruce Wayne is an alter ego. Yeah. Miley Cyrus is an alter ego and she's actually Hannah Montana. I see what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I think I just blew the lid off this mother. <laughs> That's right. It's always been Hannah Montana. The whole time. I'm trying to look at a picture of blonde Miley Cyrus. Hold on. Yeah. yeah, she is blonde. Yeah, right? Oh. She's like, she's got a pixie cut. Yes. She looks happy Last I and not not like a nightmare in these pictures. Oh, yeah. wait. No. Well, never it, mind. It comes and goes. <laughs> <laughs> it comes and goes. <laughs> Maybe she did make a comeback. I mean, she's not gone. No, I know she's not gone, but like, like a big, you know... Like, uh, like, Miley like you Cyrus, would say something like she came in like a wrecking ball sort of a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. If Miley, Miley Cyrus is not like, we don't talk about Miley Cyrus every day. Right. You know what I mean? Like that kind of comeback where she does something where she's got a show or she's coming out with a movie or yeah. she gets cast in like a Marvel movie or some shit for yeah. some reason. You know, Which she like character comes, would she she comes play? back in the limelight. Uh, uh, probably a villain. You think a villain? Maybe bombshell. Mm. She might be able to do a good bombshell. She's okay. on a black wig. Right. Be really rude to her daughter. I see ya. I see ya. Uh, I don't know. Who Who do you think? It's a generic scroll. Do you scroll think? number four. <laughs> it's just a scroll. What if she played the super scroll? Oh man! But no one could tell because she's fully CGI'd. <laughs> That seems to be a pattern that like movies are doing. Yeah. Is it's is like- they're getting like big name um, actors or just celebrities to play mm-hmm. these really. Like, like the play these parts where uh that are just like they cover them all up it's like how and I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher this name it's like how lupita nyong'o sure plays maz in the star wars sequels yeah. but no one knew that until black but, panther came out <laughs> so then what what are you talking about i didn't know that i think most people were like oh yeah she did that thing too oh because nobody could see her Right, but she that, played an alien woman but it was in the credits i know it, no I, i'm saying like most people were like oh I they knew make her. that I, connection. I knew her from that before Black Panther, but like, well, aren't you cool? Well, aren't you smart and nice and cool? Pete and you? Is. Oh, that's um, no, but like, th- similar with Star Wars, they keep casting people to be generic stormtroopers who are never <laughs> like you know what? Like oh, they yeah. got like Daniel Craig to be a stormtrooper mm-hmm. in like one scene, and did they? It was it confirmed that they got the the princes to be stormtroopers? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I like how I'm pretty sure they got uh, Nathan Fillion to just do like yeah an alien to do like Guardians of the Galaxy exactly. <laughs> like Everyone that, was like, "Oh, he's gonna be Nova," but he was just a dude. Yeah, a CGI alien. That's right. Like that's the kind of stuff that's really funny to mm-hmm. me. Just like, why not? I think that's mostly just like, "Hey, you're my bud. Come get some money. Come do a thing for like a second. That's right. That's a very 
I think especially directors like to have their their core pick of actors oh, that yeah. they pick from. Like Absolutely. Chris Nolan famously has a ton of like the same people that he dips into. Mm-hmm. I think Joss Whedon is the same way. Probably. Um well he he definitely is. Probably. No, hundred percent he is. You. you don't think so? Give me one good example. Of an actor that he's recycled a lot. Mm-hmm. Just one, yeah. Just one. Mm-hmm. Uh, just all right. Just one. Yep. I will give See, you. Too late. Can't no, wait. But one. there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> Eliza Dushku. Who? Eliza Dushku. What are you calling me? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what the fuck? Who is that? You know who that is. No, I don't. You. I mean, you'd know if you saw. Her. Well, tell me. Uh, who she play? In what? I, what, what do you mean in what? If, if she's recycled, then find a point of reference. Uh, have you seen the show Dollhouse? <laughs> no. Well, this is J- Joss Whedon thing, so you would have to know Joss Whedon I've seen shows. everything except uh, B- Buffy. Okay, uh, she was in Buffy too. Dollhouse that's fine. and Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods, another recycled uh, actor thing. Because I don't know the actor's name, but he was also in Dollhouse. So I don't believe you still. And he was in Cabin in the Woods. And also, if you saw... You haven't seen Kevin in the Woods, nope. you said? Oh, well, uh, Chris Hemsworth is in that, and he also did Avengers. Oh, he is? Yeah. Well, he didn't cast it. He didn't cast Chris Hemsworth. In Yeah, in Thor, no. But, like... Idiot. That's just coincidence. Big there's dumb still goof. there's still so many. Clark Gregg. Pff, Clark Gregg? Yeah. What else was he in before Avengers? Uh, well, no, he borrowed actors from his other work. So Clark Gregg was also in uh, Much Ado About Nothing. And Nathan Fillion was in Much Ado About Nothing. And so was Amy Acker, who was in all the things from, like, S.H.I.E.L.D. to Dollhouse. And, okay. I'm going to choose to live in my own reality where Joss Whedon is a horrible man. Okay. (laughs) Fair enough. Summer Glau also from Firefly. Is this the episode where we talked about Joss Whedon? No, I think that was previous episodes. You want to talk about Summer Glau for a second? Sure. She, and pardon my pun, glowed up. Yeah? <laughs> I will not pardon that pun. <laughs> no. That was terrible. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I tried my best. Summer, whenever there's like Firefly cast picks these days, Summer mm-hmm. Glau is always like, well, bam. Yeah. Look at my long ass legs. Yeah, they, they go on for miles. Yes. They are. They don't stop. No, they do not. She showed That's, up. That was the Serenity photo shoot. Have you, have you seen posters of Serenity? No. Where she's got like that stance where like the Oh her, yeah. It's like yeah. all yeah. <laughs> it's like she showed up on uh on on Arrow yeah. for a few episodes. She's always doing the fun kind of nerdy stuff. Mm-hmm. I dig it. She was in a show called The Cape. Oh uh, yeah. You remember that? I haven't seen The Cape, but I know of it. Yeah. I know of that I can't cape. remember her character's name. But, summer? Uh no, it wasn't Summer. <laughs> or Glau. Uh but you could tell every actor did not want to be there. Oh no! <laughs> Not even Summer Glau. Uh, I think she did the best she could. I just, I think she has a lot of range. Yeah, which is the best thing you could have as an I actor. I agree. Because like in Firefly, the two the two like freshest things I had seen her in were Arrow and Firefly. And in Firefly, mm-hmm. she like she's just very good at acting reserved and kind of creepy. Yes. And then in Arrow, she's just like a femme fatale, and you're like, mm-hmm. whoa. <laughs> two I opposite do sides like, of the spectrum. Yeah, especially in in firefly in serenity her journey from just kind of like shy weirdo to just like mass murdering machine yeah. is awesome hell yeah it's always the shy ones <laughs> yeah, sure. you see me in the back of the classroom there <laughs> yikes i torture guinea pigs when i'm gonna I get be a school shooter when i grow up <gasps> what if- all right what's the actual course yeah. of action you take if you're a teacher yeah and you have career day yeah and somebody comes in and the, the people come in and they just you know they get through it and at the end of the class day all uh-huh. the guys and the women they all come back up and mm-hmm. they're like okay kids what do you want to be raise your hand and see if you want to be any of these guys yeah okay little timmy what do you want to be i want to be a school shooter when i grow up what do you do well you you pull out your government issued gun <laughs> And you shoot the student <laughs> you on the spot. Little Timmy. <laughs> Those are the rules now. <laughs> you fucking take him out. You destroy the threat before it even becomes a threat. That's right. <laughs> we call that a preemptive strike. Yep. <laughs> Done. 
out of here. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you had a decision lined up. Yes. I would arm the kid and see if he's really ready oh, for yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Test him. <laughs> yeah. Like, you really want this, Kimmy? Yeah, Timmy? Timmy, do you want it? I'd scare him straight. I'd give him my Glock and be like, hey, all right, go for it. Kill all of these adults right here. Put your money where your mouth is, little Tim. <laughs> and all the adults are like, no, no, Timmy, please, no. And then he shoots them all. Yeah, because you give him the power. If they become submissive, he realizes... But that then because he's a little addiction? little little bitch boy, mm-hmm. the recoil knocks him in the face and it kills him. Oh man. And then you have you are not to blame at all. Really for giving him the gun? No. <laughs> he forcefully took it from you. <laughs> That's not how this was set up. <laughs> That's what everyone after the little Timmy <laughs> dies. What, the cops will get here and be like, well, it looks like he just took the gun from you, didn't he? After little Timmy dies, the teacher will turn to everyone and go, all right, let's get our fucking story straight. <laughs> little Timmy wrestled that gun away from me. He pulled it out of his pants. <laughs> we all saw that, right? Repeat it to me. Everybody repeat it back to me. I want everyone to have an essay about this tomorrow morning in your own words, of course. <laughs> in complete sentences. That's right. Or you might end up like little Timmy. <laughs> One of them's being like a little, I'm going to tell the truth. Truth, justice in the American way. And then mm-hmm. little Timmy rises from the ashes and shoots him <laughs> and then dies again. Well, well, Timmy gets an A then for completing the mission. Yeah, exactly. I would imagine. So. <laughs> and then everyone salutes little Timmy for being, mm-hmm. for taking out the terrorist in yeah the room. yeah the truth teller was the terrorist yes, in the room. exactly gotcha good to know where we stand and guess who the teacher was <laughs> oh cyber hitler whoa <laughs> back from the future <laughs> ready to teach those kids this makes a lot more sense now that i have that in context <laughs> cool with this whole scenario all right so we're gonna have to commission some fan art for that whole scene <laughs> <laughs> please animate that entire scene Yikes. That's all I ask from you all. Oh, boy. That's all I ask of you. What was that? It's Phantom of the Opera. Oh, I've seen it three times. Yeah? Yeah. Christine. <laughs> anyway. I don't remember any of it. I watched it in uh, theater class once. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think our teacher was like, I'm fucking done with you schmucks. Watch Phantom of the Opera. I don't give a shit. I had a fantastic <laughs> music teacher that would love to, sh- that always showed us like fun musicals nice. and, and things. She was awesome. It's real good to have teachers that are invested. I believe her name was Miss Friend. Like that's her actual what? legal last name was Friend. <laughs> Miss Friend. That was her actual legal last name. What a great teacher name. It sure is. I love that. Miss Friend. Miss Friend. And what is a there great- a Mr. Friend? There was not. Good. I'm gonna track down Miss Friend. Yeah, her friend. I think she might have gotten and maybe more. I think she might have gotten married, but I think that was right around the time we'll whenever him. when when it was like becoming we'll a real popular thing to do the hyphenated um, sort of thing. So she's probably like friend something. That's awful. He takes her last name. Right. In that's that how scenario. It, when you have a cool last name like friend. <laughs> Absolutely. I've decided from like. Unless his Dave. last name was like something like Buddy or Pal, then it's like just add on to it, you <laughs> friend, know. Buddy friend. <laughs> I've decided since like two years ago that if I ever get married, I'm taking my wife's name. See, that's how I always thought that I would be. Mm-hmm. My brother did the same thing. Oh, nice. Um, and I that's how I always thought I I would be because I didn't really care for my last name. But the yeah, internet, I hate my last name. The internet has opened up my eyes, and most people think that it's a kind of a cool sound i like name. your last name yeah that's a, I, I i don't yeah i never really quite got it but i think some people really like dumb uh i've, I've got yeah. i've i've considered many times changing it legally just by myself yeah but i would have to go through the turmoil of 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 uh changing just so much stuff with banks yeah having to explain uh, having to explain to my family why I don't want their name. <laughs> that was the that was the reason why my brother changed his name or took his his wife's name yep. was was because well so like my family's all weird like my yeah. last name is Nice Wonder and that's my biological father's last name right but my oldest brother uh, is my half brother who had a different dad but his name was changed to my biological father's last name and he didn't like that weird uh, well because. It was like when he was a child and right. they were, he basically adopted my brother sure. and was like, now your last name is Nice Wonder. Um, and he me. didn't really care for that. He wanted to just mm-hmm. either have his original family's last name or the, they, they might be hyphenated. I can't remember. But it's definitely not Nice Wonder anymore. 
What if I just, like, meet someone and be like, hey, you have a cool last name. I'm just going to take it. Yeah. We're just going to be bros now. Yeah. That's it. We're good. That could work. I always wanted a two-syllable last name because I feel like two-syllable last names you could use as a nickname for somebody, you know? Like nice like, wander is a I call you nice wander sometimes. Yeah, it's just not as it's catchy. I think to me personally, but like I had a I had a friend How about in Swander. Swander, I guess. <laughs> um, I I had a kid. I, I had a friend in um uh middle school. I think his name was Nick Schaefer. And Schaefer. I always liked the last Schaefer. name of Schaefer. Like it's such a cool like Schaefer. Parker. Yeah. Yeah. I like Parker. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Parker. It's such like a cool thing. Uh, my the the like. Parts of my body that I don't want to hurt hurt right now. Yeah. So we should end. Yeah, we're gonna be done. All right. You can find me on Twitter at Nick Schaefer. Oh, that's my legal name now. I'm Who, taking it. You know what? I'm not gonna check. I want to. No. I want mystery. I don't even know how to spell Schaefer. There's pro- it's like a C H. Oh really? Scenario. Yeah. I was just gonna say S H A F E R. No, I was gonna do S. Or you think it's specifically that? Specifically Schaefer? that Schaefer, okay. and it might be an A E in there. You just get out this man's full name without his consent. I'm positive there's more than one Nick Schaefer. Yeah, but now they know that there's a Nick Schaefer in relation to you, and they're gonna track his ass down and swat okay. him. Okay. I don't know. He might be dead somewhere. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> he already got the swatted. other cool. The only cool kid from my elementary school. His name was Hunter Cop. He just had Hunter Cop. He had two occupations it's like for Lance a name. Blood. Yeah, Lance yeah. Blood who plays Nick Hunter. <laughs> That's right. His actual name is, is Nick. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? What's the character here? Yeah, Lance Hunter, Nick Blood. Either one could be a fictional name. <laughs> yeah. Um But yeah, you can find me at Scott Nice Wonder on Twitter and on Instagram wherever. Uh at NerdSync literally anywhere on social media, but specifically YouTube's because that's where we post new videos every week. Wowee. Uh, did you say that's the podcast, sir? No, I didn't. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, uh, we're, we f- you find a podcast on Twitter at the On Pod. If you want to ask us questions or you want some advice on something, just use hashtag Ask Theo on Twitter or in the YouTube comments. Um, if you want to follow my shenanigans, I'm at Orem Alexander. It's on the screen. This is all on the screen. Yes, but it's fine. We like verbal calls to action yeah. around these parts. The nerd sync stuff isn't on the screen, so I feel like I got to plug that. Goodness. That's fair. Um, so anyway, thanks, Dad. Hey. I You're welcome, man. Scott and his son? <gasps> I'm Dad. <laughs> <laughs>